as you've seen from the intro, welcome to the VW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. I'd like to thank you all for being here. It's been a couple of days. It's, yeah, it's been a couple of days. I didn't start it yesterday. So day, today would be the second day since we had this going. Um, I'm just going to move some of the stuff off the top of the car here real quick. And then we will see how she starts and get to work on putting a new metal cable in there. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so underneath this hubcap is the end of the Just turn there, so I'm gonna pull it off of. I am going to pull it off of the back of the speedometer here. And see, you guys keep an eye on that. We'll look together when I spin the wheel that we, in fact, do have a broken cable because the wheel is spinning right now but the cable is not so we'll get inside there and get that yanked out of there all right well here's the end of the cable um it should be going through the spindle right here and uh, you can see that it's broke so we'll get the other end out of there and get the new one fed through there all right so you can get this dust cover off any way you choose. I prefer to use just a pair of channel locks. Got it. Cable runs up through this little clip. Right, right there. You get the idea, right? Alright, so I'm back top side. Put that in the metal recycling, then we'll start fishing the new one through. Alright, so we came back down through the grommet and through the clip on the body and then came around and went through the spindle and uh, popped out with our little hub with our little nipple right there in our hub um, so I'm gonna shoot since this is a used cable but a good cable I'm gonna shoot my favorite um, whatever your favorite lubricant is I'm gonna use fluid film because that's what I have handy uh, right down that cable then we're going to connect that cable right there to the back of the speedometer put the dust cap on put the c-clip on and uh, give her a spin see what happens all right so we got that connected to the back of the speedometer now we'll move out out here There's people here you never know all i want to do today is sit a while and play Understand we're not the same, but deep inside the truth remains. All I want to be is me, sit and let your mind be free. All 
Alright, I did my best to clean it up so my camera will focus. It's just two grimy bricks there, okay? Uh, you can see the C-clip is on there. Alright, we'll get the hook cap on there. I think, uh, go ahead and get into why that horn right there is not working. Let's investigate that. Alright, you guys keep a close eye on that speedometer. I'm going to spin this wheel and we will see if it works. Oh, I did see it move. It is moving. I'm going to say, in fact, it does work. We'll have to take her for a ride in a little while and see for sure. Uh, moving on to the horn. Alright, so I decided first that I was going to uh, get this thing set on the ground so that I could spin it around, turn the heat on in the shop, make it a little more comfortable in here for working on the horn. So, enjoy the time lapse and uh, I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Sorry that your life is tough It looks as though you've had enough Wish the world would let you be Sit and talk a while with me Try my best to lend a hand Guide you through this bumpy land Can you see the things I do Are all because of you Alright, so in there, under the undercoating, is my horn. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at the uh, wires and the connections there. That's where I'm going to start. And then we'll follow the wires back and uh, see what I come across. And if I come across anything uh, good, I'll uh, share it with you guys. Alright, so the connections look to be okay here, aside from... Uh, everything being covered in undercoating. Uh, I think I'll just reconnect them and we'll follow this wire up to where it goes. Um, we do have another horn in stock if we need it. Um, Alright, so I'll just uh, reconnect them. Uh, for this car it was yellow wire, yellow, looks like yellow and black wire on top and a uh, solid brown. Brown Maybe brown and black. Just solid brown one on the bottom. So, follow those up there. I'll get them plugged back in and uh, we'll see where we find them up top. So the yellow and black wire goes right here uh, to this first fuse. So that's where we're going to go inside and take a look at that first fuse. Alright, well first thing I notice is that first, second fifth and seventh fuse are all glass fuses. I'm sure they're fine. I'm not the biggest fan of those kinds of fuses so I'm going to uh, replace them with some ceramic fuses right now. All right so I changed out that fuse. Still we have nothing. So I'm going to pop the horn ring off. And we'll take a look at what's inside there. All right, so we've made our way back under here. And uh, I hooked my little test light up. And without the key on, we have no power to the horn wire which is this yellow and um, black one so I'll turn the key on real quick and I in fact have power to the wire there so we're gonna go back down uh, to the horn and see if there's power at the horn with the test light. Okay. Alright, now I got you guys back on. Alright, so I've got my little test light grounded 
and the keys on so we do have power to the horn so if we ground this one for the horn we should in fact get a BB horn noise and we do not so we are going to remove the horn and replace the horn uh, with another one All right, so you can see that my horn is not only undercoated severely, um, but it's also rusty, and we broke a bolt to get it out, and uh, it's been painted. Um, I'm gonna bang it. First a couple of times, I'm gonna bang it. And uh, then we're going to put a positive and a negative to it. Still nothing. We did have a horn in stock, a Volkswagen horn, so let's see if it has the correct sound. All right, we'll get that put in the car and then we'll test and see if it works. All right, so we got that horn mounted under the fender. What do you say we go ahead and see what happens? That's not good. All right, troubleshoot a little bit better. All right, so you guys are looking inside there. I should be able to ground this one and it should honk the horn. Follow me. Let's see if we can't ground that wire up there and see if it doesn't honk the horn. Katina, do you want to say hi to the people? Say hi to the people, say hi to the people, say hi, to the people. Hi to the people. Well, you can't let yourself in? Go ahead, get in. Get in there. There you go. Good job. Come here. Patina touch. Patina touch. Nice. Good job. Alright, so I'm just going to pull the wire off right here first, and I'm just going to try and ground it to the column. That's where we're going to start. So, um, not really a good place to set you guys. Really. So, I'm going to need both my hands, maybe? Maybe not. So there must be a break in this wire somewhere. Anyone?
I'm going to jack up the car and get under there and see where this wire goes and see if I can see where it's broke. I know it comes right out at the um, rag joint there on the steering column. Let's see if it's broke there. Take a look. All right, hang in there just for a sec. Ladies and gentlemen, hang in there and I will show you what I'm looking at. Oh, all right. Yeah, let's go. Let's go right there. Okay. So watch my finger. If you see this wire right here, that's the ground wire for the horn. Sorry, I'm blocking the light a little bit, but it hooks onto that connection right there that looks really quite crispy. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of sandpaper to that connection and then the one, there's another one that comes out of the rag joint right here. Uh, that go, That's the one that goes down the steering column. Um, I'm going to start by just cleaning these up and uh, seeing how we do from there. There we go. You see that wire connection? You guys, let me see what can do you guys. you guys right there this wire and this connection that's what I'm gonna sand right there and then I'll bring you guys around and show you the other one on the um, that one yeah. oh. boys man's best are you man's best man's best friend oh, nothing better than puppy kiss lay down are you laying down I was just thinking I could use some help I could use, yeah, I could use some help. Then if we get inside, you can see we have that connection right there on the rag joint that we're going to clean up next. That's where I'm headed next. All right, so we'll get her hooked back up and so we can't make her work with a switch. You can see that clearly some of us don't like the horn. Done? Come here. here. Nobody's here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. 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 You're very excited. Hey, I'm good. I got it. I got it. I got. I said I got it. Welcome to my life with Patina. Well, aside from the horn beeping, uh. You will be able to tell that this works by the sound of my dog barking in just a second, if it does work. As you could already tell, she uh, she likes the, uh, the horn. She thinks that it's somebody here. Don't come over to my house and beat my horn. I'm just saying. It's probably not a good idea. Well, we're going to call that a fix. Alright, now we need to address the issue of front license plate. And where I want to put it. We could, so we could put it in the middle on the bonnet. We could. That wouldn't be the end of the world to put it on the bonnet. We get the license plate and see how that works. Patina, what do you think? Do you think you should be the star? I'm the star, Dad. I'm the star. Got something to say? Yeah? Why are you so angry today? Got problems? Just let it drag the ground right there, and then I can say, well, I got one, officer. It's just dragging the ground. self tapper it right to the skate shoe. Maybe what we do for inspection. I probably won't drive around with one all the time. I may. I think we'll self tapper it to the shoe for now and see what happens. All right, so I had a bumper bracket, or a, uh, yeah, a bumper license plate bracket, and we just decided to put it right there. So that's gonna do it for this one. I think after 
a few more rips around town, I could probably take this to go get a sticker. It should be running and driving well enough and have all its uh, bells and whistles. What do you think? So, Patina and I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here at the VW Nut 1967 garage. And uh, we will see you in a couple of days. Don't close your eyes too tight It's gonna be alright I wipe away your tears Help you conquer all your fears From the darkness comes the light Let me hold you close and tight I wish away the pain But the truth will still remain Shed of ups and downs I've met the jokers and the clowns Made my way to hell and back Not a stranger you attack What don't kill you makes you strong So find a place where you belong It's time to settle in your soul Before we all grow old truth remains I'm sick of people playing games just be true and say it straight and scrape the bullshit from your plate stop wasting time cuz that's a sin if you don't know where to begin I'm always here to lend a hand help you try to understand Don't close your eyes too tight It's gonna be alright I wipe away your tears Help you conquer all your fears From the darkness comes the light Let me hold you close and tight I wish away the pain But the truth will still remain The truth will still remain Truth will still remain. The truth will still remain. Faces come and faces go. There's people here you'll never know. All I want to do today is sit a while and play.
photogenic, psychedelic Just trying to make a living but I just can't sell it The money I paid for the games I played Shouldn't give in until my dreams are made But you know how I felt as I started to melt So I'm gonna do the best with the hand I'm dealt Won't waste it all away Save a little for another day There's too much to lose That's why we're singing the blues Can you feel the cold of the heavy load inside my shoes? Don't be mad Think about the good and the bad Can you feel the pain of a heavy rain inside my brain? Like the sun in the sky when you're wondering Mountains to climb when you can't find the time. But we were born to get by. Without wondering why. Not photogenic, it's psychedelic. And you're trying to make a living but you just can't sell it The money you paid and the games that you played You shouldn't give in until your dreams are made Well you know how I felt as I started to melt So I'm gonna do the best with the hand I'm dealt And I won't waste it all away I'll save a little for a rainy day Just trying to make a living, but I just can't sell it. The money I paid and the games that I played. I shouldn't give in until my dreams are made. But I know how you felt as you started to melt. So you gotta do the best with the hand you dealt. Don't waste it all away. Save a little for another day. Well, I would say since we're back in the garage and we didn't have to push it, that that was a success. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here again, and uh, we will see you guys in a couple of days.